What's up guys, Jimmy from MTB Travel Review here and today we're going to talk about my first set of carbon wheels. Yeah! Now before we jump into the video, if you aren't already subscribed to the channel and you do like my videos, please do subscribe, turn on notifications, like, comment, get involved. It's really the only way you can support YouTubers like us and it is greatly appreciated. For those of you that already follow along, I have been dead set on using aluminum wheels to date. There's a multiple reasons why. One of the primary reasons is that I blow through wheels. I do a lot of enduro racing and ride some of the gnarlier trails here in the northeast. So a standard set of aluminum wheels maybe lasts me a month if I'm lucky. Oh. Now obviously they say that carbon are stiffer and more durable, but if I blow through a carbon wheel at the cost of a carbon wheel, my budget's going to be pretty broken. So it's been too risky for me to jump into the carbon wheel set game. Now ultimately, what led me to try carbon rims over aluminum is the durability and the lateral stiffness. I just switched from a 27.5 Santa Cruz Nomad to 29 inch wheels on my Santa Cruz Mega Tower, and with me being 200 pounds and how hard I push my bike, I really need more lateral stiffness in my rims and I just need them to hold up a bit more. In addition to that, obviously saving weight is always a good thing and it's just time I give it a shot. Carbon rims have come a long way from the shattering, exploding rims that we saw 5-10 years ago. Now they're much more reliable, there are incredible warranty plans on them, so it's time to give it a shot. Now after doing a ton of market research asking around, I landed on Noble's TR37 rims. Much like all bike brands, Noble has come a long way, and all I've heard are rave reviews about these rims and how durable they are. Now I'm going to walk you through some of the basic features of Noble's TR37 rims and their rims in general, and then I'm going to throw them on the bike, we're going to get out in the woods, I'm going to do a full test ride and give you guys my initial review on the wheels. The first thing to note about Noble rims is that they are front and rear specific. Because your rear wheel takes so much more of a beating than your front wheel, your front wheel doesn't need to be as stiff so they can save in weight and they can switch up the design a little bit to make them perfectly designed for both front and rear purposes. Now the 29 inch front rim weighs in around 450 grams, the 29 inch rear rim weighs in around 515 grams. The primary difference between the front rim and the rear rim is that on the rear rim, the hookless bead lips are actually a little thicker so this outer lip is a little thicker on the rear rim which makes it a little more vertically stiff so it beefs it up a little bit and makes it better for all the beating that the rear rim takes now the overall stiffness is the same but again the vertical stiffness the ability to crush the wheel is said to be 25 percent stiffer which is great to hear for your rear rim now because this hookless bead lip is a little thicker on the rear rim, that means that the internal rim width is actually a bit less on the rear rim. So the internal rim width on the rear rim is 30 millimeters, the internal rim width on the front rim is 31 millimeters. So that allows the rear rim to be a bit stiffer, but it also allows more, a little more internal space on the front rim. Normally, riders are running a beefier or wider tire on the front because that's your guide tire, so that extra internal rim width will actually help that tire bead sit a little better and kill just a speck of that bulb effect. Now in the rear rim, the internal rim width is okay to be a little smaller because normally that tire is a little less wide because that is your follow tire. Now one millimeter isn't much. But again, just that little bit gives you that extra 25% of vertical stiffness in the rear wheel, which ultimately makes a huge difference whether you can feel it or not. Now another thing to note about the Noble rims is that they are a low profile rim, so they're not vertically very thick, which is supposed to allow you for better tracking, cornering, so on and so forth. Now the last thing to note on the Noble rims is the actual shape of the rim. So they use what they call a sine wave design which means that there's actually this waves in the side of the rim that you can see if you look very closely. And what that does, or what they say it does, is increases the lateral or side-to-side -side stiffness of the rim. 
They also have predefined spoke holes in the mold, so they don't have to do any drilling afterwards. Literally, they pull this out of the mold and all of the holes for the spokes are predefined. Now, I'm very intrigued by the shape. First thing, it looks super cool seeing the waves in the rim when you look up close, but if it does, in fact, increase that lateral stiffness, that's huge. I love hitting corners and chunk as hard as possible, so I'll take all the stiffness I can get. Now, as far as the lineup goes for the premium line of rims, there's three different rims. The TR37 is the mid-range, the TR41 is a little beefier, meant for a little more downhill, and then they have the TR32, which is more of a cross-country rim. Now, if you buy your wheel set directly from Noble, which I highly recommend you do, you can really customize your wheels however you want. For my particular wheels, I went with the TR37s, and then I went with the Industry 9 Hydra hubs with 690 ridiculous points of engagement. Now, in addition to having multiple different hubs that you can pick from for your wheel set, you can also do different nipple colors, you can do different valve stem cap covers, and then you can do multiple different hubs and hub colors to make everything look all fancy. Before we hit the trails, let's talk about what's on everybody's mind when it comes to carbon rims. That is, the warranty, or lack thereof. What really pushed me over the edge with picking the Noble wheels was the new replacement or warranty policy they have for 2020 on their premium line of rims. Now to be clear, they do have what they call their legacy line, which is their older line of rims. Those offer a five year warranty for the original owner and that's only for manufacturer defects but they are so confident in their premium line of rims, the TR32, 37, and 41, that these are 100% covered if you damage this rim while riding. That's right, if you damage this rim while riding your bike, they will send you a new rim at no charge. All you have to pay is the shipping cost. That is a sick deal. Why wouldn't I take that? Now that doesn't mean I'm gonna go out there and try to blow the rim up, but again, I ride pretty aggressively. So knowing that I have a full warranty on this rim, if it does blow up, is huge and it's an absolute game changer. I will note, if you damage this rim when you're not riding your bike, like you leave it in front of a super hot exhaust and mess it up, or your friend runs it over, they'll only cover 50%. I mean, you gotta take care of your stuff. So now that we've gone through the basics, let's get out on the trails. I'm gonna strap these up with everything that I literally just had on my ARC 30 offset aluminum rims, including the Kush core, and I'm gonna go see what these are all about. Let's go. All right guys, so we're out at one of my local trail systems testing out the Noble TR37 carbon wheels. There's a couple cool DH trails here we're gonna rip down. I'll get some footage and show you guys what these are all about. so after some trail riding these things are a blast first things first obviously they're a bit more lightweight but for me what really matters is the stiffness and durability it is lights out the difference between my aluminum 29 inch wheels and these carbon 29 inch wheels i gotta say i don't think i could ever go back now you might be saying these are just my local trails maybe they're not meaty enough not enough to kind of bash these wheels up so here's some footage from my previous race runs this is an enduro race at powder ridge mountain in Connecticut, thrown down on some serious chunder at full race speed and still no damage to these rims. Oh.
Now I've also asked around with some of my team, Team Granite Mountain Bike, a lot of the guys are running the same wheels that I am. I know a guy that's run these since they came out, not a single true needed to be done, not a single spoke Titan. So I'm gonna go ahead and give these a big thumbs up. This is exactly what I was looking for. On the 29er, I need that extra lateral stiffness in my wheels in addition to the vertical stiffness. The sine wave design not only looks cool, but it's clearly helping and I can't wait to keep shredding on these wheels moving forward. All right, guys, as always, thanks for tuning into the channel. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, click that like button and subscribe to the channel to follow along for more. Most importantly, keep riding. You.